So this is going to be a quick tutorial on how to use the V slider, image slider. Now there may be a reason why maybe your theme didn't come with a slider. Maybe you just want one on a page for a specific purpose or you want to use it as a widget and that's a good use of what V slider is for. There are probably, I don't know, hundreds of different slider plugins out there, but I think V slider is pretty easy to use and it's pretty easy to implement. Um, if you look under tutorials and FAQs here, you can see the um, how to use V slider, and it actually gives you the short code. If you want to use that, it gives you um, how to use uh, some different stuff about using it as a widget. And then, of course, if you want to hard code it into your theme, um, that's an option too. Uh, I wouldn't recommend that from a standpoint of if you're going to do that, why not put um, slider support built right into your theme instead of using a plugin to do it. But hey, to each his own. Um, now, if we get to over here, now notice the, the V slider is going to automatically create one that says V slider options. Makes it a little confusing to understand if you don't know, but you can create your own here and then, and then use that one. But in this case, we've already got one set up. And this is what it looks like right here. It's um, sliding on the home page. Um, and uh, so we're going to go in and I'll show you how to make these uh, images link to something as well as how to add the image itself. Now over here we just click edit. That's under that's a V slider or an edit V slider here too. <coughs> now uh, general settings is how, how wide you want it, how high you want it, um, all that kind of stuff. Um, some different things here little uh, padding options, uh, different stuff like that. So, um, But in most cases, you'll be able to just get by with using this, how fast you want the transitions to happen, what kind of transition you want, whether or not you want to have the ugly, um, hideously horrible uh, navigation buttons on the bottom of it. No, I don't like them, as you can tell. Um, but uh, that's about that. Now, images are actually really easy to add. Um, all you do is just go click, the, there's a, you click this button. Now normally when you see something like this, you'd think you could, hey, I can drag these and order these. No. You need to suit, decide the order you want them from the get-go because you can't move it around with this. You can always change it, but you can't move it around. So um, adding an image, real easy. Just go this little gray box, which should be over here, but is displaying a little funny here. Um, click that gray box. And then you can either upload the image if you don't already have it uploaded, or you go to Media Library and then find the image you want. In this case, I'm going to find the one I've already put in there. And then click uh, Insert to Post. And then there it is. Now, uh, the second thing is you want to figure out where you want to link this to. So in this case, this one is going to another page, of course. You don't have to have a link to anything, but in this case, you want it to link to something. So I click uh, copy this link and um, and then just paste it in here. And then make sure you hit save. And then once it closes you know it's saved and then you can go on to image 2 and just repeat the process for as many images as you've chosen to have. You can have uh, it looks like up to 20. So in this case 4 or 5 I think is a good number to have. Make sure once you save that, you save that setting. Make sure you hit save this setting as well if you've made any changes or you'll be scratching your head wondering why it didn't work. Um, one of the other things I've noticed is if for some reason you have a space right here after your .jpg or .png or whatever, the image won't display. So you want to delete that space then save it. I did run into that um, earlier. So that's about it. That's how to use the V slider plug-in. It's um, pretty easy. So hope, hopefully this tutorial helps you.